Hey, what's up, guys? This is AFAB Bunny, and I'm joined today by Private Ryan. All right, Private Ryan. I'll link his YouTube channel in the description below. But we're going to be showing you how to switch out the hard drives in the PS4. And some of the items you're going to need is a PS4. You're going to need the cable that links between the controller and the PS4. A controller. You're going to need a Phillips screwdriver. A hard drive of your choice. Uh, we have a 2 terabyte hard drive by Samsung here. And then you're going to want optional of two flash drives. You're going to need one. Another one is for backup data. So if you're going to back up your files, you're going to put one... Uh, you're going to use one for all your backup files, and the other one's going to be for installing the operating system back on your PS4. Um, so let's get into this. All right, so here are two of the different models of PS4s. Depending on what you have, the insides will be a little different, but overall they're the same. This is the first model that was released, so uh, in order to take this off, all you got to do is you push down and pull out. Um, slides right off. And then this model, same idea, but it's a little harder from what we experienced to pull that front plate off. But... As you can see, they're very similar. The hard drive's here for this one. Same area for the hard drive, it's just a little different setup. So if you see a difference, uh, don't be alarmed. All right, first step is you wanna take out this screw right here. Um, it has the PlayStation symbols on it, so it's really uh, easy to tell which screw it is. Comes out real quick and easy. And then you just pull the slide door open, as seen there. And then when you get this out, uh, if you flip it over, or no, on the sides here, you'll have four screws, on, or two on either side. They're both Phillips also, and that'll let the uh, drive come out of the, uh, the harness it's in. All right, now that the screws are all removed, you can easily just pull the drive straight out. And uh, this time, you get your new drive ready. Um, I will have a link to the description, or in the description, uh, to this drive that we're using. Um, we got it off of Amazon here. It wasn't too bad of a price, so I'll put a link in the description if you're interested in getting the same drive. Otherwise, just look and make sure they're the right uh, size. Um, the normal laptop size hard drive will fit and it needs to have that uh, prong set up so it's the same as the old one. 500 gigs is what the original was. This is a two terabyte, so a lot more space. Solid state hybrid drive. All right, so it just slides in the exact same as the other one. And you'll wanna put the four screws back in. So make sure uh, the slots in the hard drive there, which if I can grab this one, I can show you. The uh, side areas right here have little spots for the screws to line up with. Make sure you're lining those up with the screw holes in your new hard drive. All right, once you have all four of the uh, side screws back in, just check that they're snug, not really tight, but just you know snug enough they hold the drive in place. And then you'll wanna just slide it straight back in the exact way you pulled it out. And you should hear a, a pretty, it'll clip right in there. It'll, it'll feel you know good whenever you go to pull at it, it won't really come out. And then you would just wanna place that uh, uh, Phillips screw back in the slot. Right, and then after that, you would just put your cover back on. All right, here we're gonna show you how to install the software you'll need uh, for your PS4 once you change out the hard drive. And basically what you're gonna wanna do first is take one of the flash drives from before, the one that doesn't have your save data on it, if you backed it up, that's an optional step. You would want to put it into your computer here, and you'll want to find it in your <laughs> Windows uh, Explorer. Windows Explorer. So here it's called Stealth is what my drive's named. You just want to open it. Notice there's nothing inside. What you're going to want to do is uh, check the properties. Make sure it's in FAT32 for the file system. Um, and if it's not, then you're going to want to right-click, and you're going to want to format it. And when you format, just make sure you select FAT32. You're going to hit Start. 
and just make sure that this uh, quick format is checked. Uh, it'll allow it to go a lot faster. And then it's going to come up with a warning. It'll delete everything. So just make sure there's nothing on the drive you want. Hit OK. Uh, it'll do its thing. Say the format is complete. And then what you're going to want to do is open up your uh, file directory again. Go back to your drive. Now here you're going to want to make two folders. The first folder is going to be called PS4 in all caps. Um, uh, this is important. It needs to be in all caps for the PS4 to recognize it whenever uh, you're going to boot the new operating system onto the PS4. And then inside of that PS4 folder, make another new folder called Update. And that is also in all caps. Um, that is something else you're going to need uh, for the software. Now, to find the software download, it's really easy. You just want to go to Google and you can just type in PlayStation for uh, OS download or you know whatever it'll take you to this site here uh, something about the software update that's the one you're going to want and notice it's an official PlayStation site uh, the latest version is 3.55 you can just download the update up here or you can go down this shows a lot of in-depth uh, instructions like we have here uh, you attach your USB storage make the folder PS4 and inside is update it'll show you everything you need to know uh, your drive has to be at least a gig is what they recommend even though the file is smaller than that I would say a gig or bigger is what you want for your flash drive but if you scroll the whole way down you can just download this now um, and it'll take a little bit of time because it is almost a gig alright so once you uh, finish downloading as you can see it is downloaded right down here you're going to want to go to wherever you have it set to download which is most likely going to be your downloads area and you're going to see it right here ps4 update pup you're going to want to cut that and you're going to want to go to your drive that you're using, the thumb drive, and you're going to want to put it inside the PS4, inside the update folder. So you can see up here the file location is inside both and you're just going to want to paste that there. Alright, so once you get the software put on the flash drive, you're going to want to Plug the flash drive into the system, and you're going to want your original cable. Well, it doesn't need to be the original, but the one that will fit into your PlayStation 4 controller. And you're going to want to plug that in. The system, turn on the system here, and we'll see what comes up. Okay, so then once your system's on, you should have a screen like this come up where uh, it's telling you basically to connect a controller, which is what we already did. So just hit the uh, PlayStation button and it'll ask you if you want to uh, uh, download the version well install the version of the software we just downloaded onto the flash drive so you got to make sure the flash drives in the system and then you just hit OK all right so after that long waiting screen uh, only took about two minutes or so um, it'll ask if you want the PS4 to be initialized for the all users, all the data will be deleted. Are you sure? You want to hit yes. Now, after that was done uh, initializing, uh, and preparing the software. It's going to go to this screen system software update. Um, it's going to sit here for a little bit. This is when it actually installs the software, so this could take a little bit of time. All right, and as you can see, after the system restarts, it's going to have a set of instructions on the front. It's going to tell you to connect your uh, controller, which you should already have done if you're doing this. So um, 
press the PlayStation button. Yeah, just press the PlayStation button. Now it's gonna basically set up everything just like, you know, you bought the system brand new. So you're living in the United States, I'm assuming you want English. And you're gonna have to set up all your stuff uh, from here. Okay, and there you go. PS4 is set up. It's going to tell you everything. And now you just want to log back in. Like there you can see 1.77 terabytes. Beautiful. All right, so as you can see, uh, the PlayStation survived and uh, the new hard drive's in. You're just gonna have to log back in to your uh, account after you went through and set up all your preferences. And then if you made backup data on a flash drive, you plug in your flash drive and you'll wanna uh, move that data from the flash drive to the PS4. Um, if you backed up your data through PlayStation Plus from the, on the cloud, you would then download that back to the uh, system from the cloud once you log in. So. Thank you guys for watching. I hope this was a good explanation or a good tutorial. Um, and if you like it, please uh, like and subscribe. Uh, check out XPVT Ryan X is channel. It'll be in the uh, description below. So thank you guys for watching and have a good day.